Hello, my beautiful crafty friends. It's Lorette, the Vintage Paper Girl. Welcome to my studio. I'm really excited you're here with me today. I have a fun little craft for us, something super simple and easy, nice and quick, easy to do, and something that we can use some scrapbook papers, or you could use digital papers if you like. So anyway, before we get going, I just want to welcome everyone. Welcome all my brand new subscribers, as those, and as well as as well as those of you who are new to my channel and checking me out for the first time and big hugs and kisses and a warm welcome to all of you who follow me on a regular basis and who comment you guys mean the world to me I love you all very much and I'm so excited when you come and craft with me and chat and um, we have a really good time here so anyway let's get going I hope you're all well how is everybody healthy I hope Anyway, um, like I said, I have a simple craft. I'm going to be using some of these um, Bow Bunny. Um, they are six by eight. Now you could do six by six, four by four, eight by eight, whatever you'd like, depending upon how big you want to make your little envelope. So we're going to make some little, little um, clutch envelopes today. And um, they're real simple to do. You use two pieces. You could use a big sheet, cut it down. Six by sixes work really, really well. I didn't pull uh, a six by six because I don't think, um, give me one second. I don't think I have any, uh, do I have any? Let me look. I have eight by eights, but I don't have too many six by six left. Or I do, be there in a minute, hold on. Oh, please. Let's see. Oh, I found a six by six. Okay. So you could do a six by six in this as well as an eight by eight. So, or whatever you want to do. I'm doing the long skinny. You can do whatever you want. This is, um, I'll show you that in a minute. This is what we're making. Isn't this cute? It has a pocket in the back and a pocket in the front. Now I used one single side. If you don't like this, you could do a double side. You could use um, digital pages and fold them and you know print on both sides. You could do either one. This, if this bothers you, which it sort of bothers me, maybe I'll go back later and I will use my, um, my uh, what do you call them? Goodness, well you could use a stamp. You could use anything really. I mean, you could use washi tape on it, uh, anything you want to kind of jazz it up if you feel like it's too plain or just leave it simple. I'm kind of making this, I think, as um, little thank you gifts. I think these are going to be thank you gifts. And then I got out some goodies to decorate with. So um, I'll go back and do that after we make one. Now, if you're going to use the six by eight pads, you're going to want to score at three inches and if you're using the six by eight. And so this is where it would be. Now, what you wanna figure out is which one's gonna be your top, which one's gonna be your bottom. If it's an Oliver print, you don't have to worry about it. You don't have to worry. So this one, um, I can see right away that this is probably gonna be, hold on, my lid. So since this is gonna be my top right here, um, this is where I'm going to put my three. If I wanted this to be my top, I would do it at three here instead, right? Does that make sense? I hope so. Hope that was as plain as mud. <laughs> now, this is going to be my bottom piece. And so it's going to fold up three inches. So I put it here. I had it in the wrong place because when I folded it up, it was upside down. I didn't want it upside down. So the, the easiest way to do this is you're just going to put, take this one. Put it inside this one because this is your bottom and you go like that and there you have it right so what i'm going to do for this this is my bottom piece mm, i don't want that just yet i want oh i had this out already and i put it away so this is going to be my bottom so i'm going to put a little notch there i don't want a deep one it's up to you and I'm going to put one back here because this is going to be my pocket in the back. So everywhere your pockets are, you're going to put a little, some kind of thumb hole, right? So that you can easily get in and out of your pocket. 
and you're going to put that inside. And if you go like this, it's going to be right at the top. Now, if you want a little space like I did on this one, I just moved it down a little bit before I glued it in. So I kind of created a little bit of it. It makes it taller. And if this is going in a journal, this would be really big. A six by six would fit in a journal better. I'm kind of making these as standalone pieces. So when we do this, we get, whoop, that, I love this ruler. <laughs> um, it's five and a, mm, five and an eighth, five and a quarter, let's say. So, you know, if you want to get a little bit of a space so that you can easily get things in and out, or you can make it line up at the top and just, you know, top, tuck something in there nice and easy, okay? And then you have a little bit more room. You have to keep in mind, if you pull it out too much, you may end up without a flap. So you can't have a big space like that in the back, right? So we want to go like that. All right, so there's one. Um, I've got these ready to go, or did I? Yeah, I pre-did them. So this one doesn't matter because it's an all-over print. So we get three-inch score. We're gonna turn it up. That's gonna be our bottom. And this is gonna be our back, so bottom and back. So we want to make our, I'm gonna mass make these because like I said, these are gonna be giveaways with journals and purchase with purchase, I think, or just as a happy mail. I do wanna send some happy mail, so I may fill these pockets up. These do not have the gusset like the last ones we made. Um, and I want to do some um, scrapbooking papers for my last couple. See, these are the last ones I made, these. These, these. This is a similar idea, but it has a gusset on it, right? So um, this is a similar idea. And so I wanted to make sure we did some scrapbooking papers for those of you who do not have digitals or cannot print. But if you have them and that's all you have and you don't have scrapbook paper, this works too. You know, you just cut the size that you want, print it on a little heavier paper. Okay. And then let's see, I'm going to want, this is my top. I've already scored it, but you know what? It's kind of being stubborn here. So maybe I'll rescore again. And it's for, it's a heavier paper. And see, look at that, isn't that pretty? And I'm probably gonna give it a little gap in the back. I kind of like them deeper for what I'm doing. Now, the other thing you can do is this is going to be your cover. You're going to either at a half inch or a quarter inch, you're going to give it a nice little rounded edge. Uh, this is my top here. So I'm gonna round the edge on this one too. Then we'll decorate them. Just a quick little, quick little project for you. Something nice and easy. Just put one inside the other. It's so simple. You just put that one in so all you see is white. You know you got it going the right way, right? Okay, now I have two others here that I was thinking of doing. Aren't these pretty? These are so pretty from Bo. Now this is going to be my bottom and this is going to be my top. So if this is going to be the top flap coming down, or do I want this to be the top flap? Then I could decorate that, or I could just have that as the top flap. Hmm. But see, I don't think, see, I can't get that. If I fold it, it's upside down. So I would have to fold it this way to get it right side up. And you don't see any of that pretty birdie. He would be upside down. So I kind of have to make him a flap. You know what I mean? Uh, because... If I, he's not an all over pattern, it's a one way pattern. So you really got to think about that when you're, when you're doing it. So he, this one's definitely going to have to be the upper and this will be the lower. So, um, Oh, I cut that. Oh, that wasn't good. I hit that too hard and it went right through. Whoops. Okay. I'll be putting some washi tape up there. I got to keep in mind that one set of this paper is really heavy and the other set isn't. It's funny, they're both bow bunny, but they're, they feel different in weight. Well, that's not great. I don't like what just happened there. Oh my goodness. Okay, well. Be a little, go over it more times, but softer, right? Oh, goodness. 
it didn't want to bend and I just should have just not bothered with doing that. Okay, so it'll go like this. Okay, let me go by, go by, let me go grab some washi tape. sure what I have that would look good with that. Mm. I have lots of it, don't get me wrong. I just don't know which one I want to use. Hmm. Oh, hopefully you didn't just see me in the camera. I'm a hot mess today. Woke up with a killer migraine. It's the meds are doing their job, but I'm you know not feeling that great. Um if I didn't do the video today, though, there would not be one. So I see kind of a peachy one. No, nope, not quite the right. Let me see. What do I have over here? What about this one? Yeah. Maybe I could do it on the inside first to make sure I like the way this looks. As you can see, nothing is permanent. You know, you mess up, you fix it. Although I ran into a big problem with my autumn, blue autumn princess journal, fairy tale journal. Yeah, I have a big issue with it. So I don't even know if I'm going to be able to sell it. So we'll see. If I can fix the issue, we're good. If I can't, uh, I guess I'll be keeping it. I don't even want to say what it is. <sighs> so. But it happens to all of us, so. Unfortunately, I have to kind of cover up the birdie's head to get it along the line. Funny how that kind of bubbled out there. That's weird. So I don't know my own strength today, right? Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm gonna have to glue that. That'll need glue. Let's go like this. Boy, if you don't get it down in that hole, <laughs> you don't get a great cut. Okay, so we have this lovely... Yeah, that looks cute. It's cute. It works fine. Mm, I should have paid attention to that would be upside down. Okay, I'm not having a good day here, am I? All right, well. Okay, so. Let me move these out of the way. Not that I have any space anywhere. Oh my goodness, I need to finish up these journals. They're taking up my whole room. And I want to do some other crafting, which I can't do until I finish these projects. So, you know. <clears throat> I see this does not want to stick, so we are going to add glue. Give it a second to dry. And then I'm going to go ahead and punch out the little thumb notch, thumb hole. I almost feel like I want to round off all the corners and I may do that. So what you'll see on the back side, this one I'll probably tuck it all the way in so you don't see as much. But actually that's cute. You don't really notice it. It looks fine. It's good, right? So that one's done. Let me go here. We've got one more to do. Um, oops, I just need to pull off the 
these are cute little bits. I have to say that you, that you have up here that you're cutting off and I'll probably use them. Wow. Well, they've been coming off so easy. Now all of a sudden they're not, right? It's because I'm on camera. You know it, right? <laughs> crazy. Crazy, crazy. Okay, so um, I'm going to want this to be the front. So this is going to be three inches. Now I'm going to show you if you do a six inch what you need to do. So this is going to require a little... I'm definitely going to be inking around the edges of all of these. I won't be doing all these on camera. I'll, you know, I'll decorate them off camera, but like I said, I want them for my um, this thank you gifts or happy mail because I do want to. I have a few people I need to send some happy mail to. I'm going to make this my flap. So this one gets a the corners rounded on the edges. So quick, so easy. If you've got to bust out a bunch of happy mails or thank you gifts, this is really perfect for that. Um, you're gonna have them done in just a few few minutes. You know, it doesn't take long at all to just fold all these and then go back and glue them. It just depends on how much you want to decorate them. Depends on how long it'll take you, right? So. There we go. Yeah. And the butterflies are up that side. There's a butterfly here, and then I'll decorate something in there. Right? Okay. And I chose the blue. I don't know why I chose the blue. I think because of the butterflies. I think I thought there was more. Well, there's a lot of blue in here, yeah, especially up here. Like you can see, there's quite a bit of blue in here. So. so in just a few minutes, we have quite a few. Now we just need to glue them all together. But before we do that, let me show you if you use a six by six. Now this is pretty heavy cardstock. Um, oh, this is really pretty. I love this cardstock, and it is very, very thick. Gosh, I don't know if I really want to use this. It's really thick. Okay. I mean, it's like 110 pound weight. Wow, I don't know what this was from, or I don't remember. I bought this a while ago. I've kind of liked this all over print with this one. I thought it would be really pretty. I think I like that better than that. The whole pad's falling apart. Oh my goodness. Okay. This is Shabby Chic Boutique. I don't know who makes this. This is manufactured. Oh, it's Little Birdie. Okay, this is Little Birdie, and I've had it for years, so don't ask me where I could get it because I have no idea. I've had it for years and years and years and years. All right, so I want this to be... So it's going to be two and a half inches, not three. We're going to use less. And we're at two and a half inches, and I would say this one I will have to do pretty hard to get it to to fold and I will need to and I have to glue really well and then use my oh I don't need both of those I only need one put one back and these roses are directional they'll go at however you want them to go so I'm gonna make this my lid so it's gonna be two and a half inches instead of three we're gonna change it just a half an inch Cute. See, you got a nice little one. So this one, instead of being five and a quarter, is only going to be three and three quarters. So much smaller. You could extend it out a little bit in the back if you want to make it um, a good four inches. So that would fit in a journal, easily in a journal pocket. Yeah, set it to four and it'll fit into a journal pocket. Super duper cute. Oh, I, I love this paper. It's just adorable.
Okay, and then I want to do the corners. I'm going to double check my time to make sure that we are indeed filming. I've been having a few problems with my camera. Oh yeah, we're 20 minutes in. This is just going to be hopefully a quick little video. I'm not going to decorate them all and do all that stuff. But I just wanted to show you how to make these. So if you need to do a quick little gift or a happy meal, you can. Oh my gosh, it's adorable. All right. I like want to make a hundred of them. <laughs> They're so cute. They're super quick, which, you know, I was looking for some quick little things to create a bunch of stuff. So um, I think this is a great way to do it. Now, gluing them together is a little more um, difficult. Now, I'm going to go ahead and do any inking you want to do. If you're going to ink, do it now before you glue because you can't, it's really hard to glue this little part after. I want this to be shabby chic for sure. Well, maybe not that shabby. But we're getting it shabby. Okay. And then, like I said, I think this is 110 pound cardstock. It feels like it, or even more. 120, I don't know. All I know is it's very, very heavy. Okay. Oh, I don't like I got something on there on the bottom. Darn it. doing a little bit of ink in here. I want to thank you for all your lovely comments on the last few videos, the ones I really struggled on. I honestly have considered stopping making videos, so I'm still thinking about whether I'm going to continue on or not. I wasn't going to make this one, but it seemed like, um, you know, a project I could do easily and, and wouldn't get confused. I didn't have to remember names or anything like that. So the medication I have to take is taking a toll on my memory and it's making it really hard for me. Um, it's mainly just frustrating me. I know you guys understand, but my frustration level isn't fabulous right now. Now we just want to run a little bead of glue part way up. We don't want to close the bottom just yet. And we're going to put this where we want it to be. Make sure it is level on both sides. And then you're going to close it up right here. I'm gonna hold it down a little bit because this is very thick and very springy. <laughs> it wants to pop open. There you have it. Now, like I said, I could go back and I could do some stenciling or I could add some pretty washi tape or, you know, whatever I wanna do. Um, where did my, oh. I want that to come down a little more. And I think this should be right around four inches. I'm hoping I did that good. I don't know. Yep. Four inch mark. Perfect. So that is perfect to sit in a journal. This one, if your journal is really wide, it might be okay. But you see the difference, you know, with the extra two inches. You could cut these down, you know, if you really like this and you, you want to do that. You could do that. Um, I'm really liking this one, though. This is just, I could see putting a pretty little... Um, putting something pretty there to close it, you know, I have to figure out what I would use. I think in a wax seal on that would be really pretty. 
Don't know if I would decorate that one up. I kind of like it the way it is. I'm not sure I would do anything to it. So I'm going to... The main part is just where it's really white, you want to get a little bit, if you're going to ink, this is where you're going to want to ink. And then if you want to go back and add some, you could do the stenciling now before you put it all together, if that's what you want to do, right? But again, um, you're going to put your, your front and your back together like that. And then you're going to have your two little short pieces in the front, and that gives you that cute little envelope, right? So I'm going to go ahead and glue this back here. I'm not sure if that goes all the way up or not. I'm, I'm not sure. And then this is very awkward. It isn't easy to get it lined up and not um, you might want to use a glue that you have some time to move it around because it's really it wants to, you know. And then you're gonna pull this one up. Looks like I needed to pull it up more. It's kind of tight there. And then I'm gonna just glue here. And that closes up your bottom. That's why you don't have to run any glue across the bottom. And you have a pocket here, which I'm having trouble getting that ink to differentiate what is and what isn't there. Doesn't seem like it wants to stick on that corner. Okay, I didn't put enough glue. And there you have another one. I do like that washi tape in there. That looks pretty cool. So, you know, I may go back to some of these other ones and add some washi tape, because um, they're really pretty there. I like that, kind of breaks it up a bit. It's a good idea, right? Okay, so that one and that one are done, and this one is done. And then we have these to finish. Three more. But what I think I'll do is just decorate the first one, and then I'll finish the rest of these, you know, off camera. And I can show it to you next time. Like I was saying, this one would be, maybe I would put like a little label right here, maybe and then put something there. I think a label there to kind of get rid of that spot that I just messed up. Let me see if I have something that's pretty or cute or something I really like I'd like to put there. Um, let's see. I think these are all too, well, maybe I think I see one. Let me see. I think I see one that would look good right here. Let's see. Let me see. If it would look good there, I'll go ahead and do it. If it won't, I'll wait and find another label that I think would do better. These are not my usual fussy cutting scissors, so I don't have the dexterity with these that I have with some of the others. What are you guys making? Anything new and exciting? Any fun fall projects? I did decorate my front porch for fall, and now I'm kind of going to move into the house pretty soon. Oh, yeah, that looks good on there. I'm going to go ahead and... 
I want to get rid of any white spots there. I, I, I would like to, um, I want a regular, like normal everyday label. Um, let me see if I've got something I want there. Stick that there. Let me see. I want like a little brown, you know, like a Tracy label. We call it Tracy labels or Tracy Fox labels. I have some brown labels here, like one that would look maybe good. Oh, I see something. So I was thinking maybe we could do like, yeah, I like that just in the corner. It doesn't have to be all over it. You know, it doesn't have to be big giant amount of you know and I can always add more that's the thing you can always add if you over decorate it's really hard to go backwards right <laughs> as we all know I had some paper quality issues with my beautiful princess journal you guys so I don't know if I'm going to be able to fix it and finish it or whether I'm just going to have to not be able not not sell it you know there's someone who wants it so I'm gonna have to have a chat with her about it okay so I will find a way for like a little kind of button closure or small closure but you get the idea I mean I could put something up here too I mean I have all these little goodies I don't know if I have something that would look good up there it's pretty it's a bit of a rose. It's a scrappy thing. Yeah, with a piece of lace maybe. So, um, but I'm just going to put that aside for right now. And let's see, where's that one I was going to decorate? This one right here. I've already kind of started it. I kind of want to do a little... Um, like a little bit of book page with it too I think I don't know if on my little scrappy bag here I have I got all kinds of scraps but I don't know if I have what I'm looking for let me see uh, I have another scrap bag let me see if I have any of the dark oh I got some of this darker page. I feel like this is too big. I feel like it's bugging me because it's just too big. Too much of the same size as this one. No, I just, I don't, I guess I don't need that. It just isn't, it isn't speaking to me. That's weird. That's strange. It's just not speaking to me. Okay. Um, Maybe that's not the right picture. Let's see what else have I got. I got a bunch of these little itty bitties. Now that's a little brighter. Let me see if that would give me the look I want. Possibly. These are from, um, Happiness and Crafting. These are her little mini, some of her, I, I don't know what they're called, mini ephemera maybe or something like that. Not bad. Okay, that's a possibility. I could go with something completely different. 
Let's see what's here. I thought I pulled out everything that was the right color. I could do something completely different. You know what I mean? And I may. I think that could happen here. This is also from Happiness and Crafting. It came out of one of her kits that I have. That's pretty. What if we do something like that? I want it to be in a corner. And for some reason I've chosen this corner instead of this corner. I don't know why. I'm right-handed. It should be in the right corner. Isn't that strange, right? Okay, let's just try it. I could be here all day trying to decorate this little beauty, not paying any attention. I like the heart on here with the little roses that kind of pick up those pink and those roses. That's what I'm what I'm trying to do is pick up the pink. I don't know what this came out of. I mean, there should be a whole kit that goes to this. I probably have it somewhere, right? We know I do. Let me see which way is up on this. Looks like, whoop. I got it right and then I go drop it. Brilliant, right? Yeah, let's put that there. Where should we put it there? No, there, no, there. Nope, right there. Okay, we'll just put it there. Stop fussing, Lorette. Just do it. Just do it. Just do it. As Nike says, just do it. They know what they're talking about. Just do it. Oh, I love that. Okay, plus, I thought I saw, mm, I did. There was a cute little pink number that I thought about putting on there, maybe down in the bottom. We'll think. We'll see about that. But I know what I want to put right there. You know it. You know it. If you know me, you know exactly what I'm thinking. I'm looking around at my little laces trying to figure out which ones I want to use. What Am I going to use a dark color? No, that's not a good idea. Okay. Took one look at that and went, yuck. Maybe something with a little bit of a pink tone to it. I don't know if this might be too little. Let's see. I want this to be girly. Oh no, that's really pretty. I like that. I do like that. Okay, I like it, I like it. All right, let's get it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay. Gosh, I can't think of too much to talk about, guys, other than decorating for fall. We did the, we went and got all this stuff for the porch, got it done. We had to clean, give the porch a good cleaning after winter. Yucko, what a mess that was. Plus some kitty cat I've been using, peeing all over our carpet on our porch. We have like an indoor-outdoor piece of carpet that our rocking chair sits on, and they've been peeing on that. So we had to give that a good scrub and disinfect and it now looks really nice it's clean everything's been dusted got rid of all the spiders and all the other critters sprayed the porch so we keep them out of the house and now i have all my fall decorations up if you're following me on facebook there are pictures of it up on facebook and it's weird the picture i wanted to use it defaulted to, to an old picture so, I don't know. I have to go back and see if I can fix that posting. But, yeah, I was thinking that needed to be up there or something over here. I don't feel like it's missing something. I thought this was a sticker, but it's not. It's just a... Um... Okay, I, I like that. So I feel like it's missing, you know, something. So I'm going to assume it's pearls, maybe? We could put a few pearls on there. What do we think? Just a few. Or some bling.
Oh yeah, that looks nice, huh? That's pretty. I like that. It's pretty. Still feels like it's missing something. Like I should have had some lace behind that or something. I just feel like it's not, and I can't get it up, I don't think. No. All right, but you get the idea. I think I should have used a bigger piece of lace up there. I feel like it's not enough. So let me do this. I'm going to check my time in a minute to make sure we're not over. Because I think I have all the time in the world. Then I look up and, I'm, and I've gone over. Oh, whoops. Time does fly when you're having fun. And, you know, crafting is fun. So I'm always running out of time. Even when I'm not on camera. I mean, I'll be working on something. My husband will say, okay, dinner's going to be ready soon. Uh-huh. And then all of a sudden I hear, honey, dinner's ready. What? I said dinner's ready. Okay. Honey, dinner's ready. <laughs> what? Sorry. My brain is creative and it doesn't like to be interrupted. <laughs> so, not even for food. It's like we don't care if you're hungry. Keep working. Keep working. Like, oh, okay. I feel like it needs something under there. Oh, do I have something that I would like under there? Maybe, 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 maybe. I'm giving it the girly treatment. I haven't done any lacy girly treatments in a while. Oh, I used to love to make really elegant, fancy clutch envelopes. My favorites. I got to get back to making those. The new year is going to see me doing zero, no journals. <laughs> going back to some of my other stuff. <laughs> I'll be making lots of ephemera and folios and stuff like that. But I don't think I'm going to be doing any journals. Only the ones that I've started and I haven't finished. So I'll be finishing up journals. Of course, I'll be making journals, but no new ones. No new journals. Just lots of other pretties. I have so many things I want to make, you guys. So many. And my list is humongous. So the only way that's going to happen is if I stop making new journals, really. I just have to stop making new journals. So everything you've seen me make this year is it. And then whatever. And I have a bunch started that I haven't finished. So if it's in my pile to be made, yes. But... Um, you know, if I have all the stuff together to make, like, that I've put together in a box, those are what's going to get made. But, okay, I like the second layer. So, what do you guys think? I like that. I think it's pretty. I still, this is still bothering me. So, I'm going to have to work on it. We'll see. But, there you go. I feel like it still needs something else. But, I don't know what, you guys. I just really don't know. I feel like I should have put some lace or something back here or some something. This is very plain and I'm not liking that. So I'm going to have to think about that. But anyway, there you have it. Cute little pocket. You can put stuff in it. It doesn't have a, if you want to add, you could easily add a gusset to the side to give it some room. You can make a little quickie gusset for the side. doesn't have to be like the... Uh, fancy one. Someone said, oh, there's easier ways. Yes, there are, but that particular one required that gusset. So, yes, I've always made a V-gusset, and they are easy. They're quick. They're easy, and you can add them to everything, you know, and um, I'm thinking that maybe that would have been a good idea for these, just to, so you could have more room to put stuff in, but other than that, it's really pretty. I'm really happy with it. I'm looking to see if I have any, like, cards that would look good in that, but I don't think I have anything available. Uh, let me see. Do I? Oh, I'm throwing things again. Oh, my goodness, you guys. That's not a good sign. All right. I was looking to see if I had any cute journaling cards close by. But I don't. I need to get make myself an envelope full of journaling cards that I can just grab, throw in there, and not have to worry about it. I think I might have some pink stuff. Let me see. Well, here's some pretty pinks things. Not quite the right colors, though. These are all little, 
a little pale for this particular one, but you know, you could put anything in there you want to put in there, cards or whatever you got. Um, I mean, even an envelope would still fit in there. That envelope would fit in there. See, that's an envelope. So that's a good size. I think that that's a good size if you're going to do gifts. I, I really think that that will work well for you. So keep that in mind. If uh, you want to put it in your journal, is just one more thing to add to your journal. I think that would be wonderful. Let's see. Do I have a rose? Well, it's bright, but, you know, it's kind of bright, isn't it? I don't think I have a red rose. Oh, there's one. Put something like that in there. Give it a backing and a little ink and away you go. Oh, that is really crooked. My goodness. Yeah, that's better. Goodness gracious. What, was I cutting that out with my eyes closed or what? Sometimes you wonder, right? There, that's much better. Gosh, that was really crooked. The whole thing's crooked. I cut these by hand, I didn't use a cutter and that just made a big mess. So I don't know. Sometimes this little cutter is good and sometimes it's not. So would I recommend it? Not so much. If you can find one you like better, it's okay. I know there's a lot of better small miniature mini cutters out there that will work better than that. Just get rid of the white edges. Could back it if you want some weight on it. This is the lightweight cardstock. It's not flimsy, but it's also not heavy duty. So if you want to, you know, do something like that, but you know, you can have something like that in there. A whole bunch of stuff, a whole bunch of somethings like that, and then put something in the back here. So you can really fill that up. So there you go, you guys. That's today's little project. It's a nice little, I'm going to call it a clutch envelope. And you can get that all decorated up and make it look all fancy and pretty. And then you saw all these other ones. That one's done. That one's not. That one's done. So there you have it. Well, I hope you all have a... Fabulous, fabulous Friday and a wonderful weekend. And I hope you all enjoy your day and I will see you all very soon. Hugs and kisses. Bye-bye.